I am completely yay on the nicknames. I'm actually totally fine with nicknames. I kind of think they're cute and endearing when it's just between the two of you. I say nicknames, yes. Yeah, we use nicknames, I and, and I'm okay with most nicknames. You know, I'm not a mushy person, so nicknames, they were never really my thing. Nicknames are something that you have to be careful with. Ideally, you use nicknames sparingly. And unfortunately, Nick and I I don't use nicknames sparingly. I think nicknames are, are great. The, the name that I call her the most is, is Baby. I think it's good, you know. And I don't have a problem with um, people um, calling each other nicknames. It kind of crosses the line for me when it's in public. And there's this one thing that happens with nicknames that really makes me uncomfortable and totally creeps me out and that's when it turns to baby talk. We are probably one of those really annoying couples who, well, it's like I'm sure we are. First of all, we overuse the term baby. Like we just go back and forth, baby, 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 and we don't even realize we're doing it. Um, but vomit, vomit, vomit. I'm sure other couples vomit behind our backs. There was this couple that every word out their mouth was the nickname. I'm like, enough already. He has a name. Enough. Once I don't need to hear baby and cutie pie and th okay, enough, please. Mostly, uh, we call each other huns. I don't know where that came from. Um, but we call each other huns. Although there are variations of it. There's hunzer. Um, Hunsington isn't my favorite one. I don't like Hunsington. Meredith and I have an incredible number of nicknames for each other, and they like evolve. Like someone will call someone Mertz, that's Meredith, and then it'll go into Nerts, that's me, and then all of a sudden the baby is called Bert's. What happens with us is that one nickname, one sort of legitimate nickname, will end up just taking on a life of its own and then there will be nicknames off the nickname. So for example, for a long time I was called Moose, but then it started like branching off from there and it was like Moose, Goose, Goosey, Papoose, Loose Caboose. And I think I have a general theory on this. I think it depends. So a nickname could be totally appropriate said by one person and totally inappropriate said by somebody else. So there's a few people who that, that I know that when they say like sweetie or something like that to pretty much anybody, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. And I don't know why it is. It's like the way they say it. And yet there's other people that could say, you know, someone from the South, you know, hey, sugar problem. I mean, it doesn't matter what they say. It's just going to sound great. But I think that my all-time favorite nickname that, that someone could really screw up or could really get right is Lover. <laughs> Hello, Lover. I just think that's, a, I think that's a funny one. I have this one friend, and she and her husband have these super sugary, sweet nicknames for each other. And uh, we'll be hanging out or something, and we'll be talking or chit-chatting about something. And she'll get a call from her husband, and all of a sudden her tone totally changes. Like, oh, baby, hi, how are you? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh, I know. I love you. I'll see you later. Okay, bye, honey. And then she'll jump right back into where we started. Like, oh, okay, so um, by the way, I just wanted to tell you. If we call each other by our first names, there's a problem. And actually, a friend of mine, when we were on tour together, our tour manager, that's his impersonation of us. He's like, Han, Han, Han. And then we're in the grocery store or anywhere, I just go, Hans, Hans. That's how I find my wife. 